Queen brings back one of her most loyal lieutenants to keep an eye on ambitious Meghan and Harry having already halted a breakaway bid by Prince Harry and Meghan to create their own household. The Queen has now brought back one of her most loyal lieutenants to keep an eye on the ambitious couple. I hear she has quietly appointed Sir Christopher Guide as her permanent lord-in-waiting. He resigned as her private secretary after an alleged palace coup two years ago. Her Majesty values Lord Guide's wise counsel, a courtier tells me. This new role gives him a formal status again. It's a non-political appointment and was made at the Queen's personal discretion. Guide will be involved in ceremonial events and greet heads of state, such as President Trump, when they visit Buckingham Palace. Importantly, Sir Christopher will be working closely with the Duchess of Sussex at the Queen's Commonwealth Trust of which he is chairman. The Queen made Meghan vice president of the organization, which she holds dear, earlier this month. This was all part of the plan to introduce the Duchess to royal life, explains the courtier. Lord Guide will be Her Majesty's eyes and ears. Sir Christopher was seen greeting the American former actress when she visited King's College London on International Women's Day. He is the new chairman of the governing council. Harry and Meghan's ambitious plans to seek total royal freedom have already been rejected by the Queen. They are said to be keen to build a global Sussex brand of philanthropy and humanitarianism, and to have lobbied for an autonomous new court. However, the Queen and Prince Charles, who will jointly fund their office, thought otherwise. A royal source claimed last week they wanted their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no. The Sussexes will soon move from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, but their new office will be based at Buckingham Palace. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't